Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants, I'm back, guys, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, what's up, y'all, welcome back, guys, welcome back, man, got another great video for you guys today, as usual, man, you guys know the deal on this channel, it's all about setting the record straight, stopping the lies, stopping the narratives, stopping them from rewriting history, guys, and in this video, I want to talk briefly about Lawrence Taylor and the, the games uh, that Lawrence Taylor was playing with Michael Jordan over at North Carolina, when Michael Jordan was a freshman there and Lawrence Taylor was uh, drafted by the New York Giants. If you guys don't know, Lawrence Taylor played for North Carolina. Uh, the all-time great player, Lawrence Taylor from the NFL, the New York Giants. Uh, to me, the greatest defensive player in the history of the game of, of the NFL. Uh, dude was a madman out there. He was just a straight savage, man. Uh, and he was talking. I saw some interview with him. On, I think it was all the Smoke podcast with uh, Steven Jackson and, and Matt Barnes. And they were talking to Lawrence Taylor about some rumors that they heard about him playing uh, basketball, pick a ball with Michael Jordan at North Carolina. And we're going to talk about in this video real briefly, man, because I just thought it was funny, some of the things that he was saying. Uh, so much respect uh, to Lawrence Taylor, man. Uh, so shout out once again. I want to thank you guys, man, everyone across the world, everyone across the states, man, and that's been supporting my channel, guys. I am truly humble, guys, as always. You guys know that, man. All the true basketball fans are standing up, man. So much respect to all you guys out there, everybody in the membership. <clears throat> and thank you, guys. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, I wanted to talk briefly about my man Lawrence Taylor, uh, one of my favorite football players growing up, man, because I'm a New York Giants fan. And, you know, Lawrence Taylor is New York Giants royalty. And we all know Lawrence Taylor has some off-the-field issues, man. And, you know, he has some drug problems. And when you listen to Lawrence Taylor speak now... <laughs> You know, you could tell that he was on some drugs, man. I'm talking about some drugs, some hardcore stuff, because that man's mind is is shot. Like, I was listening to him speak on this All the Smoke uh, podcast, on this interview, and I just saw a couple-minute clip of him talking about his time playing pickup ball uh, at North Carolina with Michael Jordan as a freshman. Michael Jordan was a freshman. So, once again, if you guys don't know, uh, if you don't remember, Nor uh, My Lawrence Taylor went to North Carolina, just like Michael Jordan did. Except Lawrence Taylor graduated, I, I want to say the same year that Michael Jordan came in, I believe was the year that Lawrence Taylor was drafted uh, by the New York Giants. I, if, I, if I remember correctly, guys. So I want to say like 1979 or 1980, somewhere around there, uh, Lawrence Taylor was drafted by the New York Giants. And that summer, I believe he came back to school to finish or to graduate. Or something he was saying, he was talking. And... He went back there. Michael Jordan was a freshman that year at North Carolina. And I guess he talked to Coach Dean Smith, who was the coach of the North Carolina basketball team, about uh, and asking him if he could play. And he allowed him to play uh, with the team. So once again, if you guys don't know about Lawrence Taylor, man, I mean, the dude was a superior, a crazy athlete, man, Lawrence Taylor. And during the interview, he was talking that, you know, he could slam dunk the basketball. I, I'm trying to remember how tall Lawrence Taylor. I want to say he's like six foot four, Lawrence Taylor, maybe six five, somewhere around there. Uh, but the dude was a, just a big dude, man. You know what I'm saying? He played the outside linebacker, uh, D lineman type of uh, position. And, you know, Lawrence Taylor was known for sacking the quarterback. That's what he's known for, man. Just going out there and causing havoc all over the field, man. Sideline to sideline. I mean, like I said, the dude's motor was nonstop out there, Lawrence Taylor. And the dude was ruthless, man. Like I said, he played in the NFL in the 80s and the 90s, man, where, like I said, you could destroy the quarterbacks back then. And Lawrence Taylor was known for doing just that, just destroying people out there. Like I said, just a madman out there on the field, man. If you don't know who Lawrence Taylor is, go watch some film of Lawrence Taylor on the New York Giants, man. I'm telling you right now, the dude was just, like I said, he was sensational. He was something else. And the man was on drugs. He was out there just doing crazy drugs. You know, <laughs> you know, there's a scene in one of these... uh. Billy Madison movies or one of these Adam Sandler movies where they have Lawrence Taylor there and he says, you know, don't don't do crack, you know, whatever he says. Um, but yeah, you can say so so much into the Lawrence Taylor. Like I said the guy was a superior athlete, man. He can say he could dunk the basketball. And he was talking about how, you know, he didn't have like the skills, you know, of some of these basketball players, but he was talking about how he was out there beating up Michael Jordan. And he said, this, this is nothing, nothing about this, guys. This is grown, this is Lawrence Taylor when he's probably like 22 or whatever. And you have Michael Jordan as a freshman at college. And Lawrence Taylor, like I said, the big hulking Lawrence Taylor, the football player, out here pounding on Michael Jordan. You know, and they asked Lawrence Taylor, you know, hey, how do you do out there, man? You know, you can keep up with these guys. And he said, yeah, hey, man, you know, you know Michael, Mike was giving me the business out there. 
He's like, but you know, he was going. He was. There were times that he knew that I was there. You know, I was gonna get him a form. I was gonna give him an elbow. And he said that Michael Jordan was complaining about fouls, and he kept calling fouls on him. And he said he was like, "Come on, man, this is what I do, man. I, I foul people. I, I'm a defender. I play defense. You know, I'm aggressive. I'm, you know, I'm crazy out there. You know." And Lawrence Taylor essentially was saying that he played basketball like he played football. He was out there just fouling people and, like I say, playing that rough and rugged type game, man. And I guess Michael Jordan kept calling fouls against him, man. And, and they had a good time, uh, you know, doing that. Like I said, it was a funny story, man. It was very interesting because I had forgot about that. I forgot that that Lawrence Taylor went to North Carolina and I forgot that, you know, they were close, that close where Michael Jordan was a freshman. And like I said, Lawrence Taylor came back to North Carolina to finish up his schooling or, or whatever it was he was saying. Uh, so they were on the campus at the same time. I mean, if you think about it, like I said, guys, to me, it, it went, I remember we were doing a live stream a couple of Sundays ago. And uh, I don't know, maybe, it was, maybe a couple months ago, guys, I'm sorry. And someone had asked me one of the questions. They said, hey, who's the Michael Jordan of the NFL? And I responded because I said, hey, I'm a New York Giant fan. And I might be a little biased here. But I said, Lawrence Taylor, Lawrence Taylor, the Michael Jordan of the NFL. And I didn't mean that as, as far as like Lawrence Taylor's the GOAT of the NFL. It's it was more so based off of the sensational plays that Lawrence Taylor would make, the the jaw-dropping moments of Lawrence Taylor's career. The icon that was Lawrence Taylor, especially here in New York, guys. Like I said, to me, Lawrence Taylor is easily the greatest New York Giant to ever play for the New York Giants. And to me, he's the greatest defensive player to ever play the game. Now, yes, we can break it down into positions and we can say he's the best linebacker or the lineman or, you know, D-line or outside linebacker. However you want to break it down that he was, to me, it's Lawrence Taylor hands down, man. This guy, like I said, just sensational. The motor he had, the way that he played the game. And the New York Giants won two Super Bowls and they touted, you know, one of the great defenses of that time. And it wasn't just Lawrence Taylor, but you had guys like Pepper Johnson and Carl Banks and uh, Keith uh, Washington or uh, Leonard, uh, Leonard Marshall, excuse me. Uh, you, you just had really good players uh, on those teams, man. Like I said, uh, just a very well-balanced team. You know, you had, the offense was balanced. You had a really good running attack, right? You had a, a tough tight end like a Mark Bavaro and, a, like I said, a blue-collar Phil Sims type of player. You know, you had the running backs, uh, Joe Morris and some of these guys, man. So you had a good team, a balanced team, and obviously you had Bill Parcells coaching the team, a legendary coach, right? Bill Belichick was a defensive coordinator for those Giants teams. So Lawrence Taylor impact on the Giants was legendary. Like I said, they won two Super Bowls, and they tied one of the great defenses of that time, led by, to me, the greatest defensive player in the history of the game, man, Lawrence Taylor, man. Uh, so much respect to Lawrence Taylor. Uh, him playing basketball with Michael Jordan at North Carolina, I thought it was very interesting. The fact that he would rough Michael Jordan up and Michael Jordan would call fouls against him and that they allowed him, uh, Lawrence Taylor, to play uh, basketball with Michael Jordan. Like Dean Smith allowed that to happen. Once again, Lawrence Taylor is a legend at North Carolina. But I want you guys to think about that. You had Michael Jordan, who's recognized by most people, by many people, as the greatest basketball player of all time. And then you have Lawrence Taylor, like I said, probably is easily recognized as one of the great defensive players, or they said, if not the greatest defensive player in the history of the game. And like we said, we understand that football is a very different sport than in basketball. The dynamics are different there. Uh, but I mean, North Carolina, man, they've, they've had some great players come through there. Uh, Julius Peppers just, just uh, recently went to the Hall of Fame. He was from North Carolina and this guy was a beast, man. A great athlete. The guy played basketball at North Carolina and he played football at North Carolina. And I believe he was about six foot five, about 250 pounds, man. The dude was just a crazy athlete, man. Um, so shout out to Lawrence Taylor. Uh, shout out to Michael Jordan. Shout out to North Carolina, man. Everybody out there in North Carolina, uh, Chapel Hill, anyone that's won to North Carolina, shout out to that school, man. It's crazy when you think about uh, someone like a Lawrence Taylor and someone like a Michael Jordan, man. And Lawrence Taylor was saying that. He's like, yo, man, I was a great athlete back in them days, man. And he was a great athlete. A lot of people forget about Lawrence Taylor's, like I said, athleticism. Uh, because he's known more for his his brute physicality and his crazy nature, and obviously it's some of the off the court, uh, excuse me, off the field issues uh, that he dealt with, uh, that you know leave him the way that he is today. <laughs> Listen to that dude speak, man. It was pretty rough, man. But if you can stay with him and and and, and listen. He, he, he said he got some funny stories to tell, man. It was pretty, uh, pretty funny story, man. So you guys know the deal, man. I thought I just thought that was interesting, man. Uh, shout out to those guys. You guys know the deal, man. I catch you guys on the next one.